The final nominations list for the 58th Annual Grammy Awards was released this morning. Brandi McDonald joins me here in the Oklahoma's video studio because she got up bright and early to watch those nominations, right? I really did. It was very early. Yeah? Yeah, like 7.15. Seriously? Yeah, it was like 7.15 <laughs> whenever they started coming in. So It's I an exhaustive just... list. There's massive amounts of categories. You can 83 you categories. Can, you can go to the Grammy website and, and download it and then print it, and it's about 80 pages and, worth. And kill a few trees and make your eyes bleed. You can kill a whole lot of trees. Let's start with the low-hanging nice. fruit, and then we'll get into the Oklahoman side of things. Sure. Lamar, 11 nominations. Kendrick Lamar, 11 nominations, Your girl, which is a lot. Your girl Taylor was seven. Taylor Swift with seven nominations, including one that has an Oklahoma tie, which we'll get to. And then... Oh, um, good tease. Yes, good tease. And then The weekend um, with seven nominations, and now that I can't fill my face when I'm with you song is going through my head probably for the rest of the day. Best meme I saw on the internet was the, the gingerbread cookies minus the head, but the frosting said I can't fill my, I can't fill my face when I'm with you. It's good stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. Uh, so. We should say, though, that uh, the recordings released between uh, October 1st of 2014 through September 30th of this year, those are the ones eligible for this, which, of course, is why Adele. Right. There is no nominations for Adele. Uh, I promise you do not weep any tears for Adele, who's sold a bajillion albums already, because I'm sure we can expect her to dominate the, the Grammys. She'll next clean year. up next year. Yeah, right. next year she'll clean up. But this year everybody kind of got a wide field. Without her in there, neither her single nor her album had been released in time to be considered, so everybody gets a Adele reprieve. So everybody else has a shot this year. Next year, everybody else. Something else we're getting a reprieve of this year is no Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber had two hit songs and a new album and got no love. Let's go to the Oklahomans. Let's start Me. off with Carrie Underwood. Carrie Underwood, a seven-time Grammy winner already. So she's pretty much a mainstay at the Grammy Awards, nominated for Best Country Solo Performance uh, for Little Toy Guns which is one of the two new songs that was off her compilation album that were, was released last year. So she's pretty much, I mean, a sure thing almost every year to come up with the nominations at least, and then she's won seven times, so. We'll see if she gets number eight and number nine, Blake Shelton. Blake Shelton, now Blake is one of these guys, this I think is like his sixth nomination, he's never won, but um, this might be his year. He was nominated for Best Country Duo Group Performance for Lonely Tonight with Ashley Monroe. Another interesting thing with Ashley Monroe, her album, The Blade, was produced by Vince Gill, who's an Oklahoma native. Okay, so, uh, Charlie Wilson. Charlie Wilson. There's somebody who needs to win a Grammy. These are his 11th, 10th and 11th career Grammy nominations. He's never won. But yes, famous from the Gap Band, yep. you know, Tulsa native. Nominated for two, uh, Best R&B Album and Best R&B Traditional Performance. So, still got that, he's in his 60s, he's still got that smooth, Still bringing in. All right, Pentatonix, speaking of voices. Yeah, somebody told me that they didn't realize that, that there was an Oklahoma connection, but um, the girl that's in Pentatonix, Pentatonix, made up words are hard to say sometimes. Um, Kirsten Maldonado. <laughs> Regular words are hard to say for me. <laughs> but Kirsten Maldonado, which is also hard to say, uh, is a former OU student in the musical theater program. Oh, ah, cool. She's in Pentatonix. And, uh, they uh, were nominated for, I don't know if you heard, their, um, they did an a cappella arrangement of The Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy from mm -hmm. the Nutcracker. It was on their Christmas album that was a huge hit. That is nominated for a Grammy this year. Point so, of Grace. Point of Grace. Denise Jones, Norman native, Christian uh, contemporary group. They are nominated for Best Gospel Roots Album. And Ryan Tedder. Ryan Tedder, back to our tease with Taylor Swift. Um, he is one of the producers for 1989, which is one of the albums for Record of the Year. You gotta think Taylor Swift's gonna do pretty well. Taylor Swift's gonna do pretty well. And Ryan Tedder, he's best known for, um, you know, One Republic and leading that band. But he has got some chops as a producer. He's actually won already for producing for Adele. So he's actually already got one Grammy for this producing gig. He's up for another one. Very nice. Of course, our friend, um, Kelly O'Hara was in town yeah, last who week. We were just hanging honored, out with last week. Honored at Oklahoma City University with an honorary doctorate. Oh, yes. Uh, she's in the mix here. Right. Um, the new Broadway cast recording of The King and I, which is the Broadway revival that she won the Tony for, um, it's nominated for uh, Best Broadway Soundtrack. So, Very cool. new recording of that. It's a classic, The King and I. It's one of Rodgers and Hammerstein's most beloved musicals and, and what new pair, recording. what pairs better with a Tony than a Grammy, right? <laughs> right. And she's been nominated for a couple of those Grammy Awards um, for cash recordings and hasn't won one yet, so it'd be a good time now to take home a golden gramophone to go with her Tony, to go with her honorary doctorate. 
that looked really nice. Dr. O'Hara, or Miss O'Hara, if you're nasty, I believe that's she's That's right. Said. That's right. Uh, that was the by best. the way, on camera, congrats to you as well, a recipient Thank of the you. Governor Governor's Arts Awards. Oh, I appreciate it. Uh, art and media, I believe, or media yes, and art. Yes, art, uh, media and the arts. So. Well, congrats to you for that. Thank you. You can follow her blog online uh, at newsok.com. Follow her on Twitter, Bam OK, the 58th Annual Grammy Awards. They're coming up February 15th from the Staples Center. And one final question for you, Brandy. Are you hosting? Because they don't have a host yet. <laughs> no, I am not hosting uh, the Grammy Awards. Man, that would be, be a heck of a gig to have that. Uh, Lots of fun. No, right? um, that sounds like a lot of work and a lot of wrangling. It, well, I don't know. I guess it depends on whether or not Kanye is invited. So because Beyonce, he might well, decide I'm the worst host of all time. Well, Beyonce was snubbed in the video category, so he may have some things he to say. He may have some things to say. So I guess um, if I'm invited to host, it will be contingent on whether or not he's gotten an invitation. All right, stay tuned. More entertainment <laughs> coverage on uh, newsok.com and in the Oklahoma.